there are so many uh, teaching about uh, running the race and I'm thinking should I bring this uh, teaching because there are so many I, I heard about it but God impressed me that uh, to bring this uh, message tonight last uh, Sunday we we heard about the message about vision our uh, topic tonight will be so run that ye may obtain so run Paul said so run that ye may be that ye may obtain so why did uh, Paul say to every one of us to every Christian so run that ye may obtain in Christian life Paul is talking about a race uh, that every every believer must run that every believer must uh, must do the, his part and to run and to finish the course that's why here in Corinthians he said know ye not that they which run in a race run all but one received the prize so run that is question mark he said but one received the prize so run that he may obtain I'll be talking about these verses four verses tonight and uh, I want you to listen about it uh, our life must have these things last week we uh, brother Ian uh, talk about vision every one of us so uh, we we know what is our vision but every one of us I know that we have vision we have vision and of course we have mission if you have vision you have mission now if you have mission you have mission you have direction you have direction and number four to achieve all these things you need instruction uh, your vision mission and, and direction will will mean anything without this instruction and i'm talking about the bible uh, our our vision our mission and our direction and instruction in life must always be dependent in the Bible. Amen? Amen? It's nice to have a vision, a biblical vision. The Bible said, Go ye into all the world and preach the nation, to all nations. Your vision is uh, winning souls. Your mission is your uh, family to get saved, your friends to get saved, your neighbors to get saved. Now you need the direction. The Bible will tell you your direction and He will instruct you to have your vision and mission accomplished. That is why it is very important that to lay the foundation of every vision, mission of our life. And this is this is the, the basic things that the Christian need. Without vision and without mission, you don't have any direction in your Christian life. No. It must be, it must, you must have the, the direction and instruction come, coming from the Bible. That's why in Psalms 119, 105, he said, Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. We must always be dependent on the Word of God. Amen? Amen. That's why we need to, to, to read our Bible. We need to study our Bible. Amen. Because everything in our life is here, in, was written here in the Bible. That is why we can, we can be ready to run to obtain. Without this thing, you're gonna without direction, how can you run? 
And how can you obtain anything? If you are not ready, you don't have vision, you don't have mission, you don't have direction, and you don't read the instruction. So, you are not ready to run. Christian must be ready to run to obtain. We will never, you will never finish the course without with all this, without all these basic things in life. But we will be talking about running the race. I know that everyone, you have already vision, you have mission, you have direction, and I know that everyone, you are reading the instruction of God. Now, to all that are running the race, there is no exception. We all have to run the race. Uh, you need to run your race. Uh, hindi, hindi pwede yung, uh, yung asawa ko. My, my husband is uh, a pastor or uh, a, a deacon or a minister. <laughs> he just run the race and I just sit here. No, you need to run your own race also. We all have to run a race. All Christians, all saints, has to run our race. In verse 24, it said, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all. What, what did Paul is uh, talking about here? Is it, he, uh, uh, Paul, is it Paul talking about every Christian to run the race? Who said yes? He said, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all. Run all. Paul is talking about the they. Know ye not that they which run. He's talking about all the saints. They. All, all that, uh, that uh, receive Christ as their personal Savior. All. He said that they which run the race, they're running the race already. But Paul said, you need to run all. You need to run all. He's talking about the race. He's, he's talking about the race. You need to, he's talking about the race that you need to run all. What did, what did uh, Paul is, uh, is explaining here? You know, in, in Corinth, uh, the, the, uh, the sport is very popular. Uh, that is Greece, the world, where the Olympics started. And here, Paul and the people in Corinth knows what is Paul is talking about. That's why it, it doesn't been uh, explained. But Paul is talking actually about the Isthmian Games. That is here in in uh, in Corinth. Every every two years they they have Isthmian Games. This Isthmian Games is a Grecian game where running, wrestling, boxing, disc throw, javelin, and other things are been are been uh, played in one race alone. So if you are the contender. If you are running for that race, you have to you have to run, you have to reason, you have to box, you have to play the discuss, discuss throw, you have to play the javelin, and and other things, so that you, you need to pass all those things so that you can obtain, you can finish, you will be, you will uh, who, whoever goes first, he will win. And Paul is talking about these things. He said, when when you run, you don't, a uh, Christian cannot uh, select only the things that they will do, what to do. He said, if you are running the race, you need to, to overcome all these things. That is, that is why in Christian life, it is very di difficult to run because 
there are so so many things. So so the, uh, there are different games like like the games that we will be encountering in life. Some is good in running, but they're not good in wrestling. Some are good in running, some are good in wrestling, but they're not good in boxing. Huh? This is what this Paul is telling about. You cannot choose which one you will be doing, but you need to run. You need to take all these things. That's why, that's why Paul said you need to, uh, the race you need to run all. Run all. In, in Greece, in Corinth, there is a, 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 a place that it called Itzmos. It is a small uh, way path going to the other side. And this is where the race is uh, done. The, the, the race trap is only a narrow road. They will run here. You, you can see the remnants. There are some seed here. They will, uh, they will run here. There are spectators here. And when they reach here, they will start boxing like, like here. Another station, they will start wrestling. They will go to another station. They will they will uh, throw the discus ball. Another station, they will they will uh, they will uh, uh, throw the javelin until they finish the course. This is what this Paul is talking about. In Christian life, you cannot run only if if you if you are good in running, you just run. But Paul said you need to run all. You need to run all. You cannot select. You need to finish your course. You need to run all. That's why he said, so run that you may obtain. So run that you may obtain. It's hard. You need to continue. You need to go on. Because you need to pass all those things so that you can obtain. That is what uh, Paul is telling about. Earthly race are run and proclaim with only one winner, but with, but not with the Lord. Everyone that runs the race to the finish line shall obtain. Huh? Everyone that finish, uh, that run to the finish line shall obtain. In First Corinthians uh, nine twenty four, he said, "Know ye not that which run and race run all, but receive receive the price." That's why he said, "So run that ye may obtain." This is this is uh, this is what Paul is uh, talking about. Which run and run and race run all. So we need to run all. But one received the price. This is talking about the earthly race. Uh, yeah, uh, the earthly race. That every everyone that passes, everyone that finishes the, the race will receive the price. And and he is telling, so run that you may obtain. In Hebrews 12, uh, 12 1, we can see that uh, about about these uh, spectators. He said, Wherefore seeing uh, we also are compassed about with so great cloud of witnesses. This is the, uh, this, the, uh, the cheering from, they are cheering from heaven. Let us lay aside every way and the sin which that so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. This is again Paul is talking about the race. He said, let us run with patience. What did Paul said run with patience? Because the race is not easy. Huh? You need to you need to run it one by one. You need to run it with patience. Huh? So he said, let us run with patience the race that is 
set before us. The race was already set before us. Uh, we, we, all, we need to run that race because that race was already set before us. We need to go. Now the question is how to run and finish the course. We know that this, this, uh, this course is uh, uh, difficult. Uh, the, the, uh, the game is very is, uh, the, uh, is very it, it needs uh, it needs patience to, to finish this uh, course. And it's not easy, so we need we need to answer this uh, this question: How to run and finish the course? Number one, we need to run with determination. That's why he said, "Run with patience." If you are not determined uh, to finish the, the course, it's very difficult for you. But you know, if you are determined to finish it, it must it will be easier for you. So if you run, you need to determine. You must be run with determination. Uh, that is that is the that is how runners are looking. Uh, he is looking for the finish line. He is determined to finish that the the race. The, the race is just like an obstacle race. Oh, it's different in every area. It is an obstacle race. He said here, run with det determination. Verse 25 said, Every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. You know, when, when you are running the race with all these different uh, obstacles in life. You need to, to strive for mastery. If you, are, if you master the, the art of running, it's more easier for you to run. Correct? If you master the, the art of boxing, it's easier for you to box. The same thing with wrestling. That's why Paul said, every man that strives for mastery we need to strive for mastery. No? As we run along. Is temperate in all things. You know, if you make, if you strive for mastery, it's not easy. If you want to train for to, to be a good runner, you need to, to run. You need to run. And I I, I learned that the runners, if you want to be a good runner. You don't run on the flat, flat uh, track. You practice on the inclined track to raise your endurance. And the same thing with with any other sports. You need to practice. You need to practice. And before you master any sports, it will take time. It will take time. I remember before when when we are having a practice in in sports, and uh, when when there is a new enrollee, we we always tell them just stay for three months, just stay for three months, then you will survive, <laughs> then you can continue. But you know, if within these three months. All the candidates always, only few are there to continue. And the, the, the important thing is to strive and you must be temperate. You must be temperate. Like uh, to an athlete that, that practice for mastery and say for any point of life, we need to be temperate to matter all things. Well, we need to be temperate. We need to, to strive and we need to be temperate as we run. With patience, Paul said. Run with patience. Here, here an example of, of the sports. In, in, uh, in bodybuilding, they are, they are 
uh, telling that no problem you strive for mastery. You need to be temperate. You cannot you cannot start uh, a judo judo class and the next day you are an expert. You need to break at least five bones before you become an expert. <laughs> In playing soccer, uh, you need to broke your knee before you be <laughs> uh, broke your toe before you you, do, you will be like Pele. In training uh, in military, of course, no, you need to be temperate, you need to strive. This is what Paul is telling about. No? This is Paul is telling about. We need to be determined. In running a race, we need to be determined. No? To be determined to finish the course. It's hard, it's not easy, but we, we need determination to finish the course. How to run? Run with determination. Number two, run with direction. Run with direction. In Philippians 3.14, he said, I press toward the mark. What's this? I press toward the mark. He has direction. For the price of the, of the, of the high calling of God, in Christ Jesus. He's looking at the Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. He has, he has the mark. He has the focus. And he has direction while running the race. The same thing with us. We need determination to finish the course. Number two, we need a direction to finish our course. We cannot, we cannot, uh, uh, finish the course without direction. Verse 26 said, I therefore so run, not to, not as uncertainly, so I fight, so fight I. Uh, have you seen what's the word of Paul? He's telling that he is running not uncertainly, he has direction. But though he has direction, he need to fight for that. Not as one that be the dead. Not, not as one that be the dead. Have you seen a, a boxing fight? A blindfolded boxing fight? He <laughs> just be the dead. Will, will that boxer uh, win? <laughs> Here, you have no direction and you you are fighting, but you are fighting with air, nothing. Paul said you need to you need to have a a a direction and with that direction you need to fight for it so that you can obtain you can finish your course. Huh? Because because the, the race is not easy. You need to fight for it. Meaning you need to pursue it. You need to pursue it. Quitters never win. And winners don't quit. He said, so fight I. Not as uncertainty. In every race there is a course. This, this is the race course. So, there is always a direction. You cannot start. You cannot start there and go backwards. Always on the on the rotation of the race. You cannot go anywhere. You can start here and, and cross here and go like this. No, there is a course. There is a course. That's why you need help to a direction in running a race. In every race, there is always a course. A course to run. No? That is why uh, Paul said, you need to, to, uh, to be de determined and to be focused. This is a football match with blindfolded. See how they play? This, this man is looking for a ball. <laughs> he's kicking. He's, maybe he's... Uh, 
uh, look, uh, feeling that there is ball in front of him. Uh, the referee was all blind, blindfolded. I don't know how they play these things. <laughs> I will ask Brother Richard later on. Their AP is playing this football. So, uh, so it, you will be, uh, you will look funny if you are running the race without direction. Uh, you you need to have direction. You need to run the race. You need to have direction for the running the race because all race has the uh, has the uh, course. And First Corinthians nine twenty seven he said, "But I keep, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection." Lest that by any means, when I have preached the, uh, to others, I myself be cast away. So then, how to run the race uh, uh, and finish the course? We need to, we need number one, uh, of determination. Number two, uh, direction. And number three, we need discipline. We need discipline. We need determination. We need direction. And we need discipline. This is how to run the race, run and finish our course. What I mean about uh, discipline, here in Ephesians 6, 12, we said, For we reason not against flesh and blood. Also, Paul is not talking about wrestling here. He said, for we reason that we, we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but he said it's against principalities, against the, the things that we cannot see. But in short, he's talking about a spiritual warfare. Uh, this, is, this is the... the, the uh, the, the the obstacles that we will be facing in running the race, uh, but you need to, have to, to uh, you you need to have discipline in running the race. He said here, twenty seven. He said, but I keep, but I keep under my body and bring it unto subjection. What does Paul talking about here? When he said, but I keep under my body and bring it unto subjection, Paul is still talking about sports. Talking about fighting on a wrestling match, this war is against the old sinful nature. The greatest enemy, the greatest obstacle in, our, in running the race is ourselves, our old nature. Paul is talking about uh, to keep under my body. You know when a wrestling match, you need to pin your opponent. You need to pin him. You need to keep your opponent under your body. You will be on top of your opponent so that he cannot move. One thing that you, you will win in wrestling is when the two shoulder will be flat on the floor. That's why you need to press with your body so that the shoulder will, both shoulder will touch on the floor. Then you will win. Uh, Paul is talking about winning the match. Winning against your sinful nature. You know, you cannot win your sinful nature without rest, wrestling it. You need to wrestle it. Huh? <laughs> that is every day. You need to wrestle it. But Paul said, you need to keep under. He said, I keep, but I keep under my body. Meaning Paul is constantly pinning his old nature. Uh, and bring it unto subjection. One, one, one thing you can win also in, in wrestling, if your opponent will sub, 
submit. No, if, if you will tap the floor, you will win. This is what this Paul is talking about. Paul knows about about sports, and he can he can explain well about these things. This is the this is what Paul is talking about here. So you need to run with rules. You need to run with rules. In wrestling, you cannot win without rules. The same thing, you uh, you cannot fight your own sinful nature without the Bible. Amen. Without the Bible. This is our basis. This is where we base uh, our our uh, our life. This is the Bible is, talk, is talking about sin in our life. The sin that beset us in running the race. Uh, you, you need to remove those sin. He's talking about fornication. He's talking about adultery. He's talking about lying. He's talking about uh, all kinds of sin. That's why in sports you need to abide with the rules. If not, you will be default and you will never win. Paul said, uh, I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Lest that by any means. Paul said, I do it all by all means. By all means. Sometimes we just we just say I tried it, but I lost. No, Paul said you need to have by by less than by any means. Do it, do it by all the means that you you know. Do it because you know your your old sinful sinful nature will will not just lie there and and. Then I'm defeated. No, he will again. He will again uh, uh, stand and uh, and wrestle with you again. That's why uh, Paul said he you need to put it in unto subjection. Paul said when I preach, uh, when when I have preached to others, uh, I myself should be cast away. Cast away is uh, reprobate or adopimus, meaning unapproved or rejected by implication, wordless, literally or morally. Paul is talking about here, he said, if I will not pin or bring this body of nature into subjection by all means, when I preach to others, I myself, myself should be cast away. I may, I may be unapproved or rejected. Have you ever seen somebody that preached about sin and he is doing sin? This is Paul is talking about. How can I preach against sin if I'm doing sin? That's why. That's why Paul said you need to. To bring this, this old nature into subjection, so that you can you can uh, you can preach uh, the things that you you are doing. You know when you when you are when you are preaching. You know when you preach, uh, you need to live what you teach. You need to live what you teach, so you can teach what you live. There, are, there are there are preachers sometimes that just preach and preach, but you cannot see that the, those preaching in their life. They are not living what they are preaching. How can you preach faithfulness if you are not faithful? How can, 
how can you you persuade uh, others to win soul if you yourself are not winning soul? This is what this Paul is telling about. Oh, you need to you need to think first. You need to check yourself first before before you are uh, before you are preaching or you are telling things to others. That's why in in running the race, uh, you, you need to have you focus and in the in running the race, uh, you need to to per, persuade and pursue so that you can finish the course. We have thousand reasons why we are not running the race. People can can say. Brother Joe said, uh, I cannot continue because of my job. There are some people, they will tell them because I'm busy with my family. There are people that I have problem today, so I cannot go serve, but I cannot continue. I have a health issue. I cannot continue serving God. I cannot continue to run the race. You know, in running the race, there is no exemption. Why? Because God provides you a job. God provides you your family. God can solve your problem. God can solve your health issue. It's all about God. It's all about faith. And we cannot, we cannot make, uh, we cannot make all these things as a reason why we are stopped running the race. Why we are not running the race? You know, in Isaiah forty thirty one, that's why that's why it is said, says, says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with the wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Why? Because God shall renew your strength. Right? I have a health issue. God will renew your strength. Right? I have a job issue. God will fix your job. Just run the race. Don't stop. Brad, I have, I have a problem with family. God will fix this problem. Just run. Just run. Don't take. Just continue. You know, Satan will attack you in your idle time. If you stop running the race, Satan will attack you. Just go on. Just continue. Just continue running this race, and and uh, God will will be uh, renewing your strength. And Second Timothy four seven. This is what Paul is talking about. He said, "I have fought a good fight." This is now the conclusion of Paul. After those things, after after he. Tell the believer to continue running. Paul did not stop running the race. Here in Timothy he said, I have fought a good fight. He is talking about determination. He said, I have finished my course. He is talking about direction. He finished his course. He has direction. He said, I have kept the faith. He has discipline. You can see the testimony of Paul. It is not you have determine, determination, but you don't have direction and you don't have discipline. You cannot finish the course. You need have determination, you need have direction, and especially you have discipline. Uh, discipline. You need to, to pin down this old 
uh, nature of us so that you so run the rain so run that you may obtain we'll continue running we'll continue running it's hard but God will give you grace let us pray Lord God Father in heaven we thank you Lord for your word thank you Lord for this night